hovering around the same levels for almost one, one and a half years, BAC Sensex has finally reached 65,000 points. I'm sure now most of you must be seeing profits in your portfolio. So what's next? Is it a good time to sell shares and book profits? Or is this bull run expected to continue? First of all, let us understand what is driving the stock markets up. The basic concept is, as the demand for share rises, the prices also rise, which drives up the indices. So why is there an increase in demand of shares? Foreign institutional investors who were net sellers for the past two years have already invested over $10 million in this financial year. And do you know, India is believed to have received the highest equities inflow in the month of June among emerging markets. Even in a recent interview with CEO of Goldman Sachs, he expressed his optimism towards Indian economy. Now, in order to curb US inflation, in last two years, US Federal Bank has increased the Fed rates from 4% in 2022 to 6.5% in 2023. It was only in the month of June when there were no interest rate hikes. Turns out, Fed officials, they took a pause to analyze the impact of previous rate hikes. So these rate hikes, they, are, they adversely affect the Indian stock market as they drives away the foreign institutional investors from India. Now, we are not saying that there are not going to be any future interest rate hikes because there still are signals of rate hikes. But we can surely say that we expect very slight increase in interest rates. And as the situation stabilized, interest rates are bound to go back to normal levels. This will decrease the bond yield and this would make India a very attractive destination for foreign institutional investors. Now to answer your question, what to do next? This is certain that it is going to be a very bumpy ride in the stock market for next couple of months. But they are going to be ample of opportunities for wealth creation. First of all, investors should continue with their SIPs, be it stocks or mutual funds. So this will actually build in the discipline, will average out your cost and will help you take advantage of the bull run. If you are looking to exit from your existing positions, it might be a very good time to book profits. And if you are a long-term investor and you are looking to enter markets through a lump sum investment, then it is a good time for that too. Make sure that you invest in quality picks and just stay invested. Market is volatile, but growth is assured. And trust me, volatility is not that bad. Look at this graph showing one year price movement of a company. Here, the stock was around 1600 a year back. It went up to 1800, then reached 1200 rupees, and finally is currently trading at 1400 levels. Forget growth, this stock gave negative 10% returns in one year. And if you see the data for last three years, the stock is down by almost 25%. Now let us have a look at another company in the same sector. Just look at the volatility. This stock has been highly volatile in the last one year, moving from 1000 rupees to 1200 and back several times. But still, it has given positive returns in last one year. And if you look at past three years data, the stock is up by over 400%. Volatility isn't bad if you stay invested in quality stocks. Macroeconomic factors, they impact the share prices, but the recovery is bound to happen. Now, if you need any help picking these quality stocks, we can help you out through our small cases. To know more, check out the link in the description below. Stock market investments are subject to market risk. Please read offer documents carefully before investing.